Hello, and welcome to my video. Today, I am going to be talking about the ASCII table. So, in order to represent the keys on the keyboard, a table has been developed called the American Standard Code for Information Exchange, also known as the ASCII table. You will most commonly hear this referred to as the ASCII table. And simply what this table is, it is a mapping of all the characters on the keyboard to a decimal number between the value of zero and, well, 255, which is 256 values. But here on this ASCII table, you'll only see 128 numbers, zero through 127. This is because there are some reserved spots, well, exactly 128 spots for the extended ASCII table, which we will not be going over in this video. So how you use this ASCII table is you would look up a character that you want to convert into decimal on it. So say you wanted to look up the space key, you could convert it to decimal by simply looking at its mapping to decimal here, which is 32. So we know that 32 is the decimal value of space, the character space, and then we can convert that to hexadecimal or binary as we need. Well, the table will give you the hexadecimal version here, but if you wanted binary, you could convert it to binary as well to get its binary representation. Similarly, if we looked at, say, the character 4, you see it will be a different decimal value, the character 4 will have the decimal value 52, and every digit 0 through 9 will have a dec different decimal value that it will be mapped to. 0 through 9 will get mapped to 48 through 57. And then here's the rest of the characters, and another thing to note is the capital characters have different decimal mappings than the lowercase characters do. So, for instance, capital A maps to 65, and lowercase a maps to 97. So you can use this table to map any key on the keyboard to a integer number, and then you can convert it to its binary or hexadecimal or octal or any value you need to. There's also the HTML values here for the visible characters in case you need to use one of them in HTML. And that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.